station. WPHT, WPHT, HD, WOGL, HD3, Philadelphia. Always live on the free Odyssey app. From the Sherry Hill Volvo Studios, where relationships matter. Live and local from Philadelphia. Free speech lives here. 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 It's Kale and Company on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. And away we go, live on this Wednesday, March the 29th. It is hump day, hump day, hump day. Hump day. and it is indeed Kale and Company here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, always live on the free Odyssey app and also live for the entire 6 o'clock hour on YouTube. Hello, everybody. How's Hello, everybody every- doing? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good morning. John Stenzel, good morning. Good morning. Gregory? I think we're just going to do the big take live. Oh. YouTube. Already with fake news and bad information. It's only 6.04. Well, no, I just made an executive decision two minutes ago. Look at you. Live audible on the fly. Because it's hard It's hard to get all three of these cameras on uh, streaming live. Uh-huh. We have to work on that. <laughs> so <laughs> we've got work to do. Well, we'll just do the big take live. So go over to YouTube. Okay. Dot com slash at 1210 WPHD. And I believe we're streaming live now. I like it. 855-839-1210 the phone number. Twitter. If you want to chime in on the conversation at 1210 WPHD, that's the radio station on Instagram, on YouTube. I'm at Nick Kale, K-A-Y-A-L, Dawn with the News. Greg's the chairman of the board. Dorenzo Valdez, they're here as well. And coming up at 9.30 this morning, we will talk to retired Sergeant Mark Fusetti. Big take this morning on policing. We've also got day two fallout from the Nashville school shooting. Details on our favorite MIA Senator John Fetterman. Uh Uh-oh. And uh, maybe one of the biggest stories of the day, and I'm not sure that it's even getting the attention it deserves, but the IRS now targeting journalists. Yeah. Not waitresses, not coming for your tips, certainly not coming for the billionaires with those new 87,000 agents, but no, coming after journalists that put out stories that eh, the administration doesn't like. We'll get to that as we continue this morning. So we got a lot to get to here on the program. It's a Wednesday, fired up, and Dawn Stenzel has the news here at 6.06 in the morning. And good morning. Tuesday, March 28th, the father of a 15-year-old who was gunned down while walking to school yesterday wants you to know this morning his son was a good kid who was an innocent victim. There is a $30,000 reward in hopes of helping Philadelphia police catch the killer of Devin Whedon, who was a 10th grader at Simon Gratz High School Mastery Charter School. Devin's teachers say he was a top student and athlete. Uh, School officials and students speaking out saying they're absolutely devastated. So he was reportedly targeted and bullied while walking to school. This was in uh, Tioga Nicetown, 7.30 yesterday morning, right near 16th and Hunting Park Ave, less than two blocks from his school where he was an honor student football player. Uh, This happened yesterday. Police were investigating. It was a breaking news story as they let out school 11 a.m. yesterday morning. So during the Dawn Show, I was reporting on this. We know that grief counselors are in place this morning for students, but a, a devastating situation for really all of Philadelphia and chilling for so many parents now worried about their kids who live nearby and walk to school. We have Mayor Jim Kenney declaring that Philadelphia's drinking water is safe. <laughs> oh, I feel much re- I feel reassurance this morning, Don. And, and then he took a glass of water and <laughs> drank, chugged it. You know, uh-huh. chugged the water just to show you it was safe. Just like they so. did in East Palestine. Here, look at me. I'm <laughs> sipping the water. Mm, it's what Chris. Obama did too in uh, in um, Flint, Michigan. Yes. They they all use not comparing the same it. playbook. Props. I'm not comparing it because I do think this water is fine. But yeah. yeah. So they're, they're saying that they've done all the testing. The threat has passed. It's under investigation, first of all, what what uh, with the chemical leak and the company. We don't know if the company will face any fines 
local company. So we've been following that one. And speaking of investigations, federal safety officials are now involved investigating the role of a natural gas pipeline. Is it involved or did it play a role in that fatal blast at the Pennsylvania chocolate factory in Reading? So the NTSB announced this yesterday afternoon, that powerful explosion, of course, at RM Palmer Company, killing seven people, sending many to the hospital, damaging several other buildings there in West Reading, which was a revitalized area and especially uh, coming back after post-pandemic, but also coming back from being sort of a factory town and reinventing itself. Small town, about 60 miles northwest of Philadelphia. So a 75-year-old family-owned company has long had this candy factory uh, ready to make a lot of Easter candy. So we've, that's been in national news, but certainly a big Pennsylvania story. So we're looking into that one, as well as the lawsuits beginning with some of the victims' families. Temple University, well, they're going to have to find a new president. Why? Yeah, Jason Wingard, the first ever black president at Temple University, says he's resigning after his tumultuous tenure of less than two years and amid, of course, well, a whole lot of trouble, surge of violence that has affected the North Philadelphia campus, uh, the strike among grad students, and certainly the execution-style killing of uh, Sergeant Fitz there on campus. But also, I will point out to you that Wingard had promised that by this spring, he would move himself and his family onto campus and be the first to live on campus in many years. But now he's uh, he was facing a no-confidence vote. So Wingard is out searching for a new prez for Temple. So wonder, he also couldn't find a basketball coach either, apparently. <laughs> Unbelievable. I wonder how much that had to do with the fact that he didn't want to move to move on campus. <laughs> I, do. I hate yeah. to say it, but yeah. I think you're right. Now, I have no idea what, what his politics are, but it wouldn't be surprising if he was a Democrat. So what what, what a concept. It's like, hey, I'm going to live on campus. Actually, you know what? On second thought, I'm not. But I'm going to publicly <laughs> yeah. say everything is fine in our program. Yeah, so he offered his resignation. It becomes official March 31st. So T-Mobile Weather Center forecast before Nick Kale's big take. We've got 57 degrees today. The sun is shining, will be shining brightly. And then tomorrow... Tomorrow morning is going to be a cold one, 49 degrees for the high tomorrow for your Thursday. And then we begin that warm up Friday, 66 with a sunny day. Saturday morning starts out rainy, but 70 degrees, high winds moving in Saturday with that stormy, unsettled weather, 70 degrees for your Saturday. And then Sunday, it's sunny, but 52 degrees. I'm Dawn Stenslund. This is Kaling Company News Live. Dawn with the news. Thank you very much. Dawn for the Big Take this morning, 855-839-1210. The Big Take will be up on Instagram if you missed it live. And if you missed it live, well, we are on YouTube. You can watch us uh, at 1210 WPHT. Just go to YouTube.com slash at 1210 WPHT. We'll come back. We'll get your reaction to everything and also the fallout day number two from the Nash Nashville school shooting and that tragedy. A lot of reaction still coming in as we work our way through the 6 o'clock hour here on this Wednesday morning. It's Kale & Company here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT.